What happens to a family right after they survive a horrible ghost attack? They go through the same damn thing. And in Sidious chapter 2, the Lambert family move back home to Grandma Lambert's house and find themselves facing another spectral attack. I mean, these people cannot get a break, but I didn't break from watching this film. I was all in. Spectral crap starts hitting the fan pretty early in this film. Now, the mother realizes something is going on. It's very familiar, and they need to leave the house. Smart woman. The father just won't have anything to do with it. They need to stay where they are. Dumb man. But they do get help from some ghost hunter friends of theirs from the last film, and together they find themselves against a horrifying spectral entity that wants all of them dead. Now, some of these people are not going to see even the beginning of the credits. I love a good ghost story, and this one made me happy. The director does use a bit of special effects here and there, but it's the camera work. It's the setting up of the scenes that just give us those scares, those jumps, those out-of-nowhere horrors that gets this movie to be bone-chilling without being gory really at all. That is impressive. And one of the family members just gets taken over by what's going on. I'll give you that. And their performance goes from you getting to know the character, to know that you understand the character, to just being terrified of this person, sinking you into the horror of the film. And the two ghost hunters that show up bring the humor. They do one thing in one scene as a true horror fan that you, I just have always wanted to see in a film. And when they pull the joke off, I rewound it three times. I had to see that joke because it was perfect. Just how much ghostly crap can one family go through? That's the question that Insidious Chapter 2 had me thinking throughout the film when I wasn't jumping, freaking out, and just enjoying a pretty damn good ghost story. Now, I have a confession to make. I've never seen Insidious. I've only seen the sequel, and I'm doing it in reverse now. I am hunting. I am out there looking for Insidious because Insidious Chapter 2 is just that good.